So what do you think of humanoids? Well, I think they're pretty painful, but I just use some germanoid and it goes away. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Glasgow Dad podcast. Coming up this week, see the sex dolls. They've hey. got like a dirty chat mode. Well, as long as they don't have a moody mode, where they fall out with you and don't get your hole for three months. Dirty chat, I'm, I'm comfortable with. Do you want a new telly? No, I've no time to watch it. I'm pumping this mad robot. <laughs> Nobody's going to put a robot in the boss, right? Because it's not got any, right? <laughs> but before then, we're talking about everything robots. When I was a kid, it was a science fiction thing. R- Robert the Robot and Metal Mickey and stuff like that. But see, when I was a kid... You always wanted your own Android. There was a there was a program called Logan's Run, and it was a great program. And he and he it was about this guy called Logan, and he went on a run, <laughs> right? And he had an Android who was a a dude, and and he looked like a person. And that was a way back in the seventies. And I was thinking at the time, I was a kid. Imagine you had. Your own Android, right? Imagine you had an exact replica of yourself. It's an Android. That would be fucking brilliant because it could go to school for you. It could go to work for you. It could do all the shite jobs you don't want to do. And you don't need to feed it. Maybe get an oil change or something or recharge its fucking batteries. But it doesn't need anything. Right, just a recharge and a clean, and it would do all the shite jobs you didn't want to do. Do your homework and all that bollocks. Get a doing off your da, right? Do your podcast. Right. <laughs> Aye, no, this is enjoyable, right? But you could, the idea, this is where this came from. Somewhere back in history, some lazy wee bastard was going, what would it be like if a robot could do all the work and I could lie in my scratcher and pump my bird on me? <laughs> that. Now, the, the downside of that is, then your bird would go, wouldn't it be great if I had an Android and it could pump the Android <laughs> and I could do stuff I enjoyed? <laughs> so that's the point about robots. That's why they're needed, because we don't like doing shitey stuff. So we get the robot to do all the shitey stuff and we do all the good stuff. Go to the beach and all that and get a drink and party on and just do stuff, do all the good stuff. And the robot does all the shite stuff. And, I mean, that's got to be a good thing. No. And it? Oh, I mean... And that's you, why they're here. If you could have something that could just do everything, it'd be amazing because the smallest thing I've seen... Well, it started off, you get ones that, like, cut your grass. Like, that's probably the simple robot. That came out. Well, you guess it's not a fucking robot. It's it's one of the mad lawnmowers, isn't it? You've seen them. People have got them in their house. The, the, there's a wee Hoover that goes around your house. Aye. That's not a fucking robot. It's not good to man their beast. <laughs> right. I can see with a lawnmower, right? I don't like cutting the grass. I get a gardener in. Right. But people, st- if it's outside in the garden, people are stealing that. That's a serious piece of hardware. And in the house, I the Hoover, but I mean, a robot that looks like you, that can do all the work. You know what I mean? Do all the shit. What do you hate doing? Absolutely the washing. You... Well, the fucking machine does the washing. <laughs> the... You just put the washing in a machine. <laughs> That's a robot in itself, really, isn't it? Closing it. The... What do you mean? You can do it by the fucking Ganges with your washboard. <laughs> what do you mean the washing? Doing the washing. I what... just, I don't like, like... You fucking put in a big sheet like a window twanking and you're doing it in a Clyde. What are you talking about, you fucking maniac? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like, like, sorting it and putting the taking the socks out and getting the blacks and the whites. So hanging the washing out. Oh, I hate hanging the washing out. I put it in the And then taking dryer. the washing in Aye. and ironing it. I hate ironing. Aye. Aye, a robot oh. could do that. Aye. A robot could do that. Could put the washing in the machine, mm. right, and even, you wouldn't need to be a button because the robot would be talking to the machine. <laughs> and and they would go to the fridge, don't fucking interrupt me, I'm talking to the machine, Right. Because the fridge you'd be talking, they'd be going, that fat bastard will be hungry now. Right? I'll be there in a minute. Right? I'll sort them out. Right? So he'd say in the machine, wash, 40 degrees, non bio. Right? And then it would hang it out, perfect. And then when the rain comes on, it's just sitting at the windy. 
looking for the rain to come on. <laughs> See, because I've got things to do. I've got Netflix documentaries to watch, right, and books to read. So it would just be going. In fact, it'd be stunning at the back, <laughs> and as soon as it feels a bit of rain, get it washing in, and then put it out again, and then put it all away in the drawer, and it'd be great. See, so we combine an AI and the robot, it could basically make you your lunch before you've even thought of what you want. Well, I because now when you type an email, it aye. comes up. So the AI would be able to predict on that day, on that time, when you wanted lunch and what you wanted for your lunch, and it would already made it before you've even decided what you want. You're like, how did that know I wanted that cheese and ham toast with Branson pickle? No, well, if you because <laughs> that works, because if you've had it before, and it's no, it's no like when you're married and your wife and you tell her you like something, and she gives you every night for a month and makes you sick of it. <laughs> so I, I, I definitely AI, AI would do that, and it would go like that, and it would come in and go, hello, Master Raymond, because I'm the boss, right? And it's got it on a tray, man, and it's got like lasagna and a nice Greek salad with feta and maybe a, a big bottle of beer, man. <sighs> Jinky and you that to take my shoes off, Clanky, <laughs> if that's the robot's name. You would get a name. Clanky's a good name, isn't it? I wouldn't need it to do my ironing because I take my clothes into the shower to iron them. You take your clothes into the shower to iron your clothes in the shower? <laughs> Takes You've clean. got an ironing board set up and a shower. What are you <laughs> no, talking about? No, I take my clothes in with me for the shower because the steam steams them and takes the creases out. Well, all your clothes. <laughs> I don't. And you're in the shower, <laughs> bollock I, naked. I don't take all my clothes in. No, I take the thing I'm due to wear into the shower and I hang it on the shower and all the steam steams it, takes the creases out. Yeah, the robot them. could do that. It could iron your gear. I would want it doing another task because I'm fine with ironing. See, you, you you treat a robot like you treat me. You'd want the poor bastard to death. <laughs> I mean, it's a robot. It's a robot, for fuck's sake. It's, it's doing everything for you and you're still fucking double shifting it. Have a bit of fucking self-respect for poor robots. You'd have it working like fuck, man. <laughs> you, man, you need to give the robot... Anyway, it needs to recharge. My robot would be joining a union. <laughs> like the jo your robot be going to strike, man. You'd come <laughs> him, a robot sitting on a couch going, I'm doing fuck all. <laughs> You're overworking me, you ball bag. I'm going up to work for your da. He's reasonable. He actually sits, a clanky, sit down, tell me how my son's abusing you, and the two years would be commiserating. Uh, well, that's a thing. They could, yeah, robots in the future could get depressed. So they've got emotions, so... And they can yawn. How do you get a robot to yawn? Get it to phone you? <laughs> Robots would be pure logic. Pure logic. That's the best part about robots. Think about this. Imagine you were married to a robot. Right. And, and it'll happen. Right. You could get married to a robot. Doesn't he have any resentments? Doesn't he get passive aggressive? Doesn't he have bad emotional reactions? Or Roberta, dear, uh, I'm, I'm going out for a drink tonight. And they're going, okay, see you soon. Have a good time. I'll have chips ready when you get in. It's a Latvian robot. <laughs> Aye, a, a Ukrainian Latvian robot. I'd be one of the Eastern European robots you get out of the catalogue. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> you would go out and you would be pissed and you, and, and you wouldn't come home because it'd be a robot and it'd be gone. I wouldn't be sitting going, why did you no phone? It would be going, did you have a good time? Brilliant, good. Would you want your head rubbed and stuff like that? It would be there to serve you. It would, that's what they're, they're servants to mankind. And women can marry a man robot, I'm no problem. Or anybody can marry any robot. It would be gay robots, no problem. No problem, right? I'm just saying for me, it would be a female robot. Right, and it would do everything that I needed. It would serve me. You don't need to pay it. You don't need to get a wage. It because it doesn't need in just a, a can of WD forty. <laughs> if his knees start to go right, now you go a wee squirt. Oh, thank you. Is that your ten years or the Is robots? Well, <laughs> 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 with me, it's castor oil, right? Three in one oil. But that's all you need. 
And that would be perfect because that's the point of them. They're there to serve mankind. Where would you put it at night, like in bet- beside the Hoover? Or would you put it like in a box? Or? Well, it's it's free to... It would be charging at night like your motor, wouldn't it? During the night, you plug yeah, it in. I would imagine so, I It'd just, it'd just go to that, will you be needing anything else, sir? Mm. Or your your lordship? Uh, no, that's okay. Away and plug your cell in. <laughs> No problem. Be <laughs> stop humming. I'm trying to get to sleep. Uh. That's you, a utopian dream. That's what they're there for. See, see the best part: a robot could fight like fuck, right? Because all you, because you're a shite bag, right? Nobody's going to put a robot in the boss, right? Because it's not got any, right? So imagine your robot could go to work, right? Your robot would go. I'll fucking fill you in, bump, bump, and gain the guy 40 rapid. And the guy <laughs> kicks the robot in the balls, just like in Terminator, and he breaks his foot. Say, ha, 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 fuck you, bang, pokes his eyes out and kills him, right? And that's it's just defending itself. He can't get to jail. And it's, it's got a camera. It's got everything, records everything. And it would be programmed to respond appropriately. Right, so you couldn't, for instance, use excessive force. So here's an example: the robot looks exactly like me. Right, it's walking up Sucky Hall Street because I've sent it up to the dancing to find me a wife. Right, so the robot <laughs> <laughs> it's, it goes in the dancing and it's wearing my sannies because it's got the same size of feet as me, and a bouncer goes, "Fuck you! You're not getting in." Why? What is wrong? Because you're wearing sannies and you talk like a fucking robot, right? <laughs> you are prejudiced against robots, right? And he goes, fuck off, clanky. And he punches my robot. Now, my robot then can respond appropriately and punch him back. But we give him a karate chop to the neck and completely disable him. And his mate would come in, but he's got a 360 camera, and he'd just go, fuck you. And he'd be away as well but he's only defending himself so it would, there would be protocols there would have constant everything would be covered in protocols that it would be allowed to defend itself and everything nothing you can do and uh, when my robot's up in court it just goes like that yes your honour plug me in there is the evidence and the jury will see it well it's a bouncer's fault <laughs> Getting a bit wide with a robot. Released without charge. Right. If a robot get released without charge, you'd be fucked. Oh, that's good. You should have your own, <laughs> you your own podcast. Do you not think with robots now, like, what I was fascinated with, and probably you'll say, I am sure you were, was these sex robots that oh, you well, can get. Like, well, but they're, they're like five grand or something for a sex robot. Five grand? Aye. Five I, grand for a sex robot. Every man would want at least two of them. <laughs> that's not a lot of money. It's not a lot. I of mean, money. how long have you been married? <laughs> how long have you been married? Nearly ten years. How much has it cost you so far? <laughs> you should have bought a sex robot ten years ago. You'd be fucking perfectly satisfied. No have any diseases unless you shared the sex robot with your mates, right? And you'd have plenty of money in the bank, right? And a life at being easy street. Five grand, that's fuck all, but this is ultimately where this is going. Sex robots. Right, we're going to take a quick recharge, but before then, have a look at one of our live shows. And if you're interested in coming along, visit glesgadad.com. But here's a quick clip. So, what do you do, big fella? You can afford a woman that's breathing. <laughs> what do you, what do you... I'm a freelance cameraman. You're a freelance cameraman. Peter, happy birthday, son. Yay! Happy birthday. <laughs> and what age are you today, Peter? 45? <laughs> and you've got grand wings. <laughs> Fuck, you started young, eh? No, this is a tribal. Oh, you got rid of the first one and you brought a big fucking cameraman in. <laughs> See, I know what's happened here. You and your first man used to get it on and he'd be filming, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you and the old boy gimped up, not a, in the bedroom and he's going, I said, I said, lift your leg, lift your leg. <laughs> I said, oh, a bit too much flap there, right? Oh, all right. I mean, I, I don't know what year you were filming this, right? 19, 1912. <laughs> right, it's a fucking joke, right? Anyway, 
And obviously, the, the, the magic wasn't happening for you, and the cameraman's going, oh, I've got a rager, right? And you're joining in. <laughs> and then he comes in, the big one gets moved out. Well, good on you, Debs, good on you. <laughs> yeah, pair of sexual deviants. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's great. Happy birthday. See, the sex dolls, they've right. got like a dirty chat mode. Well, as long as they don't have a moody mode, where they fall out with you and don't get your hole for three months, dirty chat, I'm, I'm comfortable with. Some robots can even cry as well. Hey, could have a cry and wank. <laughs> so you saw in the news this Saudi Arabia robot, it touched the reporter up at the Yeah, it, it, that's right. There was a, a young female reporter at some Saudi Arabian expo or Qatar or something, or something in the Middle East. Yeah. And the robot, which was dressed in Arabic dress, felt her arse. Yeah. A sex offending robot. <laughs> well, apparently it, it moved her forward, but it probably moved it forward ah, toward, right. towards ah, something see, else. That's, ah, right. I've used that defence myself. <laughs> <laughs> so these sex robots, I mean, they're probably, before they leave the factory... They'll be quality control. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll test them out. I mean, who's got that job? <laughs> I, I mean, if that was me, a man of my advanced years, I would go, fuck, I can only test two a day. I'm not fucking <laughs> knackered. You know you got a young guy in to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sex robots, man. Purely there to serve you. No politics, because the politics are dating now. Mm. It's difficult, right? It's The, the world's changed. There's... The, there's so much more required to go into a meaningful relationship. I get it. I get it. But a sex robot, and this is where it's going. Sex robots, man. I mean, you've already got these sex suits. Have you seen these? The sex suits? Sex suits. Just a bit like a, a, a scuba suit, right? Or a boiler suit. Well, tight fitting. And you get man's ones and women's ones. And all your bits fit into it. And you plug it in and it vibrates right and you've got your VR headset on I mean this is the world's most immersive wank right <laughs> so you're lying there with your sex suit with your fucking VR headset on and you Whoa! And you come your load right and these things are dishwasher safe right and, uh, hey, you come your load because it's, it's, it's pegging you at the same time it's up your onion it's fucking nipple clamps. It's massaging your the underside of your bollocks. It's every erogenous zone. Right, right. It's and you, oh, you're fucking and a fucking hell. And, but this, but this is an extinction level event. You think about this. You think about this. It's it's a lot easier to put on a, your sex suit than it is to get up in the morning, have a shave, have a wash. Buy nice clays, do your hair, go out, buy dinner, meet a sexual partner, and then wait three months, and then it's a lot easier. It's it's in this world of instant gratification. Mm. That's all you millennials. It's all instant gratification, right? It's a lot easier. Don't even negotiate anything with anybody. Boom. Then there's no procreation. This is a thing because mm. it needs. Men and women to come together, do the dirty deed, right? And then produce children so the human race can progress, mm -hmm. can go forward. But if everybody's just putting on their sex suit, then we're wanking ourselves to extinction. <laughs> we are wanking ourselves. This is, this is masturbation Armageddon. And what's going to happen in another four billion years? When the lungfish crawls out the sea again and Neanderthals come in, become homo sapiens, and biologists, they look at sedimentary rock formations, which you tell with the history of the world. There'll be a wee white line in the sedimentary rock formation, and that would be our generation. Mm -hmm. And it says, ah, there's human beings in the 21st century. That white line, that's where they wanked themselves into extinction. <laughs> This white layer of cum <laughs> in the sedimentary rock formation. <laughs> but that, that's what's going to be. That's what's going to happen. So we, 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 we have to be clever about it. Mm. 
Mm. You still need people to procreate. No, there's enough people on the social to make sure that's going to happen anyway, right? <laughs> because no everybody can afford a sex suit. <laughs> the people with money will be wanking themselves into existence. Because <laughs> if you ask the average male, give you a sex robot, they would take it, wouldn't they? Fucking, they would take it. <laughs> they would move it in. They would move the wife foot and take the sex <laughs> robot in. The average male. Do you want a sex robot? I. <laughs> Do you want a new telly? No, I've no time to watch it. I'm pumping this mad robot. <laughs> People are using the VR headsets. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. They're like buying it for and their... you're seeing, aye, they're buying it. For aye, their Wayne for aye, Christmas. Aye, no, they fuck. The Wayne's, the Wayne's <laughs> at school. Uh, all right, I'll see you. Have a good day at school. Mario Kart. There's your pack lunch. You get the VR headset on and your breeks <laughs> at your ankles, man. <laughs> Fucking big time. Totally immersive porn. <laughs> 360 degree. I see 360 degrees you are in you, man. You're in a big orgy. <laughs> and that's what happens, it links it to the suit, isn't it? Yeah, if you buy a sex suit in the VR, the whole doll should bang. Because with these dolls, you get a headset, and basically the dolls, yeah, the heads, you see this woman sucking you off, and the doll sucking you off. Right, I've not seen them. <laughs> right, but I, whatever, I'll send you the link. whatever a perverted guy can imagine. That'll happen. I don't think the word perverted needs to be in there. No, I don't, but, but <laughs> men are perverts. Aye. A woman would say to a man, you're a pervert, by the way. But a man would never say to a woman, mm. go, I'm up for that. Because <laughs> when, when I was in Japan with Hannah, there's loads of sex shops in Japan. Like They're really into sex shops. Is but, there but loads of sex shops? Loads of them. So you kind of get a pint of milk? You're walking in, you get any milk? No, fucking dildos again. <laughs> any chance of getting a loaf and a pint of milk? <laughs> uh, I, I'm just back for the shops, hen. I, I, you can't get any milk or bread, but you're going to get pegged tonight, right? I mean, th that's no practical. Well, the women are not allowed in. The women are not allowed in? No. Well, that's, that's discrimination. Aye. Women are as entitled as anybody... If it's good for men, it's good for anybody. Mm. And what they... Are women aren't allowed in? No, they don't allow the women in. Uh, you're joking? No, because there's not a lot for... The the specific ones for guys are not allowed in, so they've got, like, tight arses and stuff that you basically just pump. But it's just an arse. It's just too cheap as you buy. Well, that could be anybody's arse. <laughs> what do you mean it's just an arse? <laughs> well, it's just... I mean, it's an arse, but it's you know it's a woman's arse because it's shaven. But it's a smooth arse. Guy's arse. It's made out of fucking polypropylene. What's it made out of? A plastic arse. I think so. A big rubber arse. <laughs> a big rubber arse. I... Well, it's not a tight arse. It's not like a big, it's not like real life, just a big fat arse. It's like a tight sort of Japanese arse. Well, I know having tremendous experience of arses, you've clearly a lot more in the arse stakes here. Did you buy one? No. Did you bring one back? No, I couldn't get Did it. Did they ask for it, your suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have checked that in the overhead locker. That's for sure. Yeah, but how much are these hussies just to interest? <laughs> so they were about a thousand pounds. A thousand quid for an arse? It's <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. It was like build a bear. Talk about <laughs> ripping the arse out you. A thousand quid for a rubber arse? No, but it is. It's like build a bear. Like you go build a bear. I uh, know build a bear. So you get all different body parts. <laughs> you can build a rubber human. Uh, You're joking. No. So it's like uh, uh, it's like you build. You like now in Disney you build a lightsaber. There you just build a lassie called saber, and you like you've got her arse and her cheeks and what he looks like and the colour of her hair. And then you stick her. Oh, it's a thousand pound for the whole thing. No, that was just the arse. The yeah. arse is a thousand pound. I don't know how much the so arse. How much is the good bits? <laughs> I mean, what? That's, it must be twenty grand. Probably the time you put all the uh, different parts together, pieced it together. So I better start saving. <laughs> so you get sex robots, and then the VR headsets. Right, they're the they're the big things. But the worry is that you're conf you're uh, taking the AI and combining it with the robot. So what's wrong with that? Because you're saying about robots are logic. Complete logic. Well, they can logically outsmart anybody. Well, you know playing the fucking thing at Scrabble. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, you, they would probably beat you at Scrabble. What do you mean outsmart? 
Well, they would doubt they'll take over the world eventually, <coughs> so we'll just have the world run by sex robots. Most of the people we come into contact with, a sausage roll could outsmart these fucking idiots, <laughs> right? So it wouldn't be difficult for a, an AI robot to take over the world because most people are looking at their phones playing Candy Crush or whatever, right? But I could see you, but you're getting it. So an AI robot will be looking at the world and going, these people have no point. Let's presume, right, that the point of life is to come into this world and make it better, leave it a better place than you found it, right? So if that was taken as a given, as a moral imperative, and this was in, enshrined in an AI robot's protocols, then logically it would follow that if somebody was not acting in accordance with that and that they were acting in a way which was detrimental to the greater good, if you like, then, then they would be, well, fucking malkied, <laughs> knacked. Something always backfires with me. If I bought one of these sex robots, it would be one that one in a million would malfunction. So No, no, no. If you bought a sex robot, it'd probably go like that. Look, uh, nice try. I'll just finish up myself. <laughs> you go away and make a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'd end up getting pegged to six in the morning. Uh, the I'd, I'd end up riding you. My, my, for Sunday. Just, ah, but see, if, if it was doing it for a week, you'd fall in love with it. Because it knows what it's doing. God. <laughs> well, there's been people that have married their sex dolls, haven't they? Nothing to stop them marrying them. I mean, yeah, I suppose. I mean, anything goes. And they wouldn't get half everything if you divorced. Here's an interesting thing. If you married a sex robot, right, and the sex robot had sex with you, clearly, and then done your washings and made your dinner and hoovered your carpet and cleaned your lavvy so that you were free to go and do whatever it is you do to make a living, and after 10 years, the sex robot, you, you fell out of love with a sex robot, you maybe met a new sex robot, maybe you fell in love with an electric motor or something and you're hid with somewhere else. Well, the sex robot would go, well, they would go to a lawyer and say, if it wasn't for me doing all the jobs in the house, he wouldn't be able to work. So theoretically, that robot had helped you to build your assets, so it's entitled to off it. So she'd take the house? No, half the house. Off you the house. you you would take all your assets, so maybe you're worth five hundred thousand pounds. And you would take your debts, maybe you got a hundred grand debt. You that would leave four hundred thousand. The sex robot would get two hundred grand. And she would just go and buy a wee flat somewhere. Aye, and then <laughs> move in another sex <laughs> robot and then they would be perfect together. <laughs> well, and that... you'd be sitting in half a house. Wonder where your next chug's coming <laughs> <laughs> Well that would just be my luck she would, The robot would fall in love with another robot And leave me you, You're the one that will have fucked up the relationship mm. Because the robot's completely loyal to you It's you You've you've been out with a sex robot And you've saw a drone And you've went <laughs> With your roving eye You go oh look at that drone And the sex robot's going Oh no his eyes are elsewhere. <laughs> no, 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 my luck, I'd come in and catch him with the grass cutter. <laughs> <laughs> and the Gildan. <laughs> and the, uh, free some with a wee hoover. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, no matter Henry's got a smile on his face. No, but they wouldn't do that because they, they, because the sex robots, they don't have that wantonness, they don't have that baseness of character. You would, and it's a fair assumption that they wouldn't be driven by emotional need. So they would have no need for excessive... Well, they have no need for anything other than oil and a recharge. But people... People's a problem in people's lives. Because we do things we shouldn't do because we think we need them. We deserve it. Uh, I eat 14 pies because I deserve it. I'm treating myself. We drink too much, we go, you know what, I'm only having a drink, I deserve it. I've had a hard day, you know. I need a drink because you make my life difficult. I need a drink because my job's too hard. It's your emotional reactions to things that makes you make bad life choices. Robots 
are no in that space. Mm. Do you think there'll be a second-hand market for sex robots? Absolutely. I, well, it stands to reason. If sex robots are going to be built and mass manufactured, right, and every guy would want one, I could see a point where a guy would get... Because they would update the models. Stands <laughs> to reason. So if you get an, an X1, right, oh, it was a great... Everybody had an X1. Oh, brilliant. And they bring out an X2 four years later, you go... <laughs> It, it, it was have upgrades <laughs> and then you get an X3 so by the time there's an X10 you've you've had an X10 there's all these X1s doing the barras <laughs> with a hundred thousand shags on the clock <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw Rusty and all that and, oh no <laughs> and Jake they'll go to a scrappy There'll be a scrappy, and I tell you what's interesting, these things, they'll, they'll be nuclear-powered, right? Mm. They'll, have, they'll have lifetime nuclear batteries or something, or radioactive isotopes will be powered by them. So they would never, it's like nuclear submarines and nuclear aircraft carriers, they never run out of power because they've got mm. nuclear reactors. These things would never die, so they, there would be a scrappy you know these things you'd be just walking about and lying about without any purpose <laughs> and there'd be a whole market for taking your ro sex robot to get a service you she would need your robot uh, service she needs a new right horn that's wearing tail <laughs> so I think I'll, how much is that going to skin me uh, it, it, needs, it, <laughs> it needs a new motor for this right arm <laughs> oh god <laughs> they're only going to get mayor aren't they it's of course only and it's robot dogs. They've already got the Boston Dynamics is the company. Mm. Or Boston, aye, Boston Dynamics. They make these police dogs. You see these dogs? Have you never seen them? No. Check it out. It's Boston Dynamics. It's, it's dogs, police dogs, like attack dogs. And they're, you can see that there'll be a point where these things will be equipped with lasers and guns and everything and and armies for instance the whole mm. point is now they won't send people to war they'll send robots into war robots will go and fight wars mm. drones tanks and it'll all be automated planes and all that and it'll all be robots and we'll all be sitting I don't know Pump marine robot and going, I wonder how the war's going. <laughs> Gutted because your robot's been called up for military service and left us. <laughs> no, you're writing a love letter. Oh, hurry up and come back soon. And it comes back and it's got its right arm shot off. Oh, for fuck's sake. No way, man. You're looking, no for, the, way, man. You're looking for the X Man in the cupboard. <laughs> pulling it. That's the future. So that's us with Ran Out of Battery. So be sure to visit glesgadad.com for all information on our live shows and we've got a show in May the 19th with a very special guest so make sure you look that up on our socials click our TikTok bio whatever just make sure you click that link or subscribe on YouTube by hitting the bell button as well and if you enjoyed the show tell your friends but if you didn't fuck off